Hello, I've talked before about how if you make small improvements in a few key areas, you can double your bottom line profit. So just to remind you, your number of customers or clients is however many you had at the start of the year, plus how many leads you've generated times your conversion rate during the year, but minus any attrition. So any that you lose from last year by maybe not looking after them properly or not communicating with them sufficiently. Once you know your number of customers or clients, then if you know the number of times they buy from you on average in the year, and you know how much they spend on average each time they buy, then you'll know your revenue. And then once you know your costs, if you take your costs off, that will obviously tell you your profit. So the interesting thing is that if you just make small improvements, as I, again, I've proved before, but if you make small improvements in your number of leads, your conversion rate, your number of times that people buy from you, the amount they spend each time, and a reduction in the customer attrition rate. So if you just made five lots of 10% improvements there, you would typically double the profit for any business. And the thing is, 10% uh, improvement in five different areas, that adds up to 50%, which is 1% a week. But as I've said previously, it's actually more than 1% a week because if you did make a, an improvement of 1% a week, by the time you compound it up, it comes to a lot more than 50%. It comes to something like 68%. So all we're saying is that could you find a way of making a 1% improvement in one of those key areas in a week? And the only way it will ever happen is to do what a lot of people don't get around to doing, which is to find time in your diary and then to diarize that time to actually work on your business. So what if you had a regular two hour slot that you put in your diary every week and you decided that you were going to focus on one of these key areas each time? And one thing you can do which works really well is to say, right, how can we make a one percent improvement in how many leads we generate or how can we make a 1% improvement on our conversion rate or how can we reduce our customer attrition rate by 1%. So what you do is you'd, you'd have a, a meeting with your assistant, your team, whoever, uh, or your coach if you work on your own or a mastermind group, which I'll come back to, but you'll have a meeting and you'll say, how could I make these 1% improvement? And what you do is you'll force yourself to come up with 20 answers. And by the time you've come up with 20 answers in there, you'll have some real nuggets. And all you're looking for is a 1% improvement. Now, I can tell you now that for all of those areas, there's at least 20 uh, ways, ideas that will work for most businesses that apply for any of them. So find the time, say two hours a week, a, a slot where you just diarize it and you set that aside as being when you're going to do this work. Ask yourself the question, how can I make a 1% improvement in one of these five key areas? Do that religiously every week. And what you'll find is that 1% a week, week on week, will happen because you're measuring it and you're actually concentrating on it. And you'll end up making more than the five lots of 10% by the end of the year. And you'll end up by more than doubling your bottom line. Now, one other thing that really works is to then agree to be held accountable by someone else. So if you say you're going to do this, for example, this, whatever it is, to make your 1% improvement in number of leads you generate or your conversion rate, well, that's all very well. But if you tell someone else that's what you're going to do and you say, next time we meet, I want you to ask me how I got on doing that and hold me accountable, then you're five times more likely to do it. And a really good way of doing this, particularly if you haven't got your own board of directors, a really good way of doing that is to be part of what's called a mastermind group, which is why Napoleon Hill in Think and Grow Rich describes being part of a mastermind as one of his key 13 steps to riches. And it's one of the most important of the 13 key steps. So if you wanted to find out more about how a mastermind group might help you, where you get a, a group of similar minded business people and what you do is you, you give each other advice and help based on your experience. You also, because you're geeing each other up, if you like, you actually encourage each other to set more ambitious goals than you otherwise might. And you set more ambitious goals. But because, again, you agree to be held accountable, you also make it far more likely you'll achieve those goals. It's something like if you um, agree to be held accountable by someone you know, like and trust, i.e. someone else, a colleague in a group like that, then you're 95% certain to actually achieve it so you're more or less certain to actually do what what you said you're going to do and you're five times more likely to do what you said you're going to do than if you weren't held accountable by someone so five lots of small improvements based on two hours a week 
based on making 1% a week improvements in one of the five key areas. Ask yourself to be held accountable by people you know, like and trust. And that's how you double your profit over the course of the next 12 months. Hope you found that interesting and useful and it will work. Thanks very much for watching.